I want to tell you a story. All right. I am actually a superstar. I'm an actor. Okay. I I went from the ranks of being an extra to now being a full-fledged person acting in front of the camera. Okay. From my back being seen, you know, the nape of my neck to my hands to my toes. Now my face is on on screen. And it feels good. It feels good to have your face on screen and not the back of your neck this time. It feels good to not be doing this in the background and be doing some shit in front of the camera this time, being the main star, the main squeeze. It feels good. It feels amazing. I feel very famous. If I was the greatest extra before all of this, now I'm the greatest featured actor of all time. I'm not gonna complain, and I don't like complaining. I'm a hard-working guy. Whatever task you ask me to do, I'm gonna do it. Whatever role it is, if you give me a role for an extra, you gotta stand there, hype up, shout, scream, dance. I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability, 100%. I'm gonna give you a thousand million percent of my energy. So I don't care. I don't got that pride, that ego, you know? I'm the greatest extra in the world. I'm the greatest in everything that I do, regardless. <laughs> so if you just want my finger to be in the shot, bro, you're gonna get the greatest finger of all time. I'm gonna nail that shot. Oh, I'm gonna nail it exactly how you want my finger to move. If you want it to go like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, whatever stroke, you want, I'll do it. So that's my mindset on these things. And thank life, it rewarded me. My first ever featured role from a famous burger brand. Amazing, right? But it's not really amazing, it's expected. I'm, I'm an amazing actor. It's me, come on guys. Yeah, I was a featured role player, a featured character in a famous burger brand and I was very happy I liked it I like the brand it's my favorite I'm not gonna say what it is because I did not sign an NDA or whatever like that but whatever I was so excited people like me people that look like me we don't really get that many opportunities to be seen on screen as like a main thing so we got to create our own opportunities. You know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining. That's just the way things are. So we got to work harder and create our own shit, which, is, which makes me more prideful of the things that I do. It gives me more, more pride that, okay, I'm getting recognized. And it's not because of luck. It's because of who I am, bitch. <laughs> so yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. You know what they made me do? Simple stuff. Just wake up. Panic. Oh no, no, I'm late. Da, 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 da. Order some food. And that's it. Get ready. That's it. You know? Amazing, right? Super, super amazing. Best role in the world. But there's just one thing that not really ruined the shoot, but really ticked me off a little bit. You know? We were changing outfits. Okay. And I've been working out, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen this, okay, I've been working out every day, every single day for the past long time. And when they wanted to see, when the clients wanted to see me with the outfit on, because I was wearing PJs. So what happened was they were submitting the day before. And the way I usually wear my clothes, because I'm a short guy, you know, I'm a short king, Pants don't really fit me that well. If I just wear it normally, like below my waist, below my stomach, the length, like the ends of the trousers, it covers my entire feet and it doesn't look good. You know, and there's wrinkles on my shit, on my legs. The outfit doesn't look sleek. So I gotta do this. Half the time I'm wearing my trousers like this. And I have a shirt over it. So during the fitting, that's how I wore my PJs. This is my t-shirt, PJs are inside. This is how I wore it. Just so happened that the PJs that they gave me was XL. 
okay so you can't imagine how big and how hard I was pulling it up just so it doesn't sag on my feet okay oh anyways on the fitting everything was good the designer wardrobe lady was like fits well approved client approves everyone likes it we get to the day of the shoot okay we're shooting scenes ha 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 shooting 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 okay we finished the pj scenes waking up uh, <laughs> we finished all that shit now it's time to get in your casual clothes okay but instead of changing into jeans casual outfit we're just gonna shoot the top okay i wear the top pjs are inside okay i start shooting but then they're like oh wait 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 clients want to see you okay that's fine you want to check me out let's go went out there stood like this so imagine like the the scene that i'm seeing it's my first big role <laughs> it's like eight people staring at you like this checking you out oh. okay thankfully i worked on myself right now I'm, I'm i'm okay i'm not super super confident or secure in myself but i'm, I'm okay i'm in i'm to that point where i'm comfortable in my own skin a little bit you know so imagine that eight people just looking at you judging you uh, no 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 okay and what is one of the worst things that can you can tell a person when they're shooting and when you're wearing clothes in general okay not in a shoot What's the worst thing that you can tell a person? You're fat. <laughs> I'm not really the type of guy who gets triggered by things. You know, normally I just take it off as a joke because I know myself. I know the kind of work that I put in my, my bros, my gals. You know what I'm saying? It shows. You know, it shows. The work. The work shows. So, it didn't really bother me. So, eight people were looking at me and they're like, can you, can you, you know, <laughs> they meant suck it in, because I had a gut, <laughs> I was like, what, <laughs> I was pretending to not hear what they were saying, but they're trying to say it, credit to them, they're trying to say it in a really nice way, and that's fine, you know, but I wasn't really offended by it, I was just like, are you sure, <laughs> are you fucking sure, my guys, <laughs> okay, Yo, it's me we're talking about. What do you mean? <laughs> Imagine eight people telling you, yeah, yeah, suck it in, suck it in. You know, and I, I, I was like, I am. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> they didn't want to say it. And one of the guys was even like, okay, that looks good. Sure, it looks nice. But do you have it in extra large? And I was like, what the fuck? My pants are really big. I'm wearing a shirt from Zara of all places and it looks good. I look sexy. And you want to get it large? What the? Nobody wanted to say it outright, you know. But what they really wanted to say was like, oh, he has a gut. You know what I'm saying? We're shooting a burger brand and he has to look healthy. Okay. <laughs> and then I went inside and the crew was like, yeah, apparently he has a gut. And most of this brand's customers are healthy and one of the guys is like mm, really <laughs> okay <laughs> i wasn't really it, it was funny to me it was really funny i don't being petty but like come on now come on now so the guy was saying okay apparently you look fat in your <laughs> apparently you have a gut now you gotta suck it in and i was like okay and then I'm not really the type of person to like make a scene out of it or shit like that. It was, it was really funny to me. But then this wardrobe lady came up and she, she was like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's just the garter. It's just the garter of the, the, the pants. It doesn't have a gut. Props to her. She actually saw my worth. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, you are the best. Queens. That's what you are. Beautiful creatures. I love all of you. So she came to my age. She saw me for the real me. Oh, it doesn't have a gut. We approved it yesterday. It doesn't. It's just a thing. And nobody believed her. We were outside. She was selling this to eight people. Nobody believed her. Okay, so we went inside. That whole conversation happened. Oh, apparently you had a gut, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, <laughs> okay, you got to suck it in. And I was like, I don't know what to suck in. <laughs> and the lady came inside and she was like, she lowered my, my thing. Put it down, put it down. And I was like, okay. 
put it down. Boom, okay, good. Come out. He showed me out and everyone was like, oh, okay, yeah. They shut up. They were like, okay, whatever. Okay, let's start. Let's start shooting. Let's go. Okay, we start shooting. My gut disappeared. You know what I'm saying? But it's in the back of my head. It's in the back of my head. All these comments is in the back of my head. So we get to shooting. Ha ah, ah, ha, we're changing. And all of a sudden, there's this scene. They wanted me to get naked for some reason. And I was like, wait. <laughs> you want me to go shirtless? <laughs> I've never done this. I've shot many commercials, but I've never shot on camera without a shirt on. But I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's go. I'm pretty confident at this point because I work. I work out every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm fresh. I'm a hunk. So I'm pretty confident that, okay, suit yourselves. I was just playing it cool on the outside, you know? Okay, I was just like this, nonchalant. Okay, cool. But deep as I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, you want to see this? You want to see this? <laughs> playing it cool. You got to just chill about it. You know, you got to chill. You got to be chill about it. So I was like, okay. If that's what they want. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, I guess. I'll strip. I, mean, I don't see how that's relevant to a, to a fast food brand, but okay. I guess you want to see an actual piece of meat, a juicy meat. So yeah, whatever, I guess. <laughs> so it's, the whole scene is just me getting dressed, getting ready to get out of bed and leave to get my order, okay? So... I was like, okay, I'm down, I'm down, whatever, I guess, I'll do it, that's what you want, if it's good for the shot, fine, I guess, I'll strip. <laughs> and the funny thing is, okay, before I took this shoot, the name of the company, I'm not going to say what it is, but it sounds sexual. The company, if you translate it into many different Asian languages, it sounds very sexual. And my parents was like, oh, don't go there, sounds like a porn company. <laughs> They're just going to make you strip. <laughs> we were laughing about it before I took this. We were laughing about it the day before. And it actually happened. Can you imagine that? They actually made me strip. <laughs> it's like we actually shot a porno. You know, my dad called it. <laughs> spellcasters. We're a family of spellcasters. What we say, it happens. So, that happened. Okay? I stripped... You know, I'm saying, playing cool. <sighs> Whatever. Ah. Took my shirt, took the shirt off, hanged it in the hanger. And then, to my surprise, a lot of people went quiet. Okay. A lot of them were so quiet. And a lot of people, because it's, it's, it, we're in a bedroom, we're shooting in a bedroom. I'm getting ready for the day. Okay. A lot of the crew went quiet. And then some people from the client side and from the production side. Because the way it's set up is there's a room. There's all camera people here and the director. That's where we are. And outside in the living room, there's people watching the screen. The brands, the client, everything. All the people behind the scenes approving shit. That's where they are. And how the thing happened was when I took my shirt off, makeup artist, producer, wardrobe lady, some of the clients... They were in the bedroom door, just looking at me like this, when I took my shirt off. I was like, yo, what the fuck? What is happening? I don't, I don't have like a six pack or anything, but I look relatively fit. You know what I'm saying? And I just work on my stance. And I was, the way I took my shirt off, I was like, ugh. So while the whole thing was happening, there's a lot of people going in and out of the doorway, just looking. What's happening? Oh, you're not really going to take him shirtless, are you? I was like, no, no, no. We're just going to get some shots to get ready for the day. And I was like, okay. That's one lady. And then they, it was so fucking weird. Really, it was so fucking weird. I've never done anything like this. So I was putting, I was sure it was, imagine like you're, you're shirtless. And there's like 10 people watching you. I've never done a... It's like you're a porn star. I felt like Johnny Sins. Everyone came here 
to see my dick. That's what it felt like. Everyone wanted to see me perform. And perform, I did. You came to see the show and show up, I did. Came to see the performance and perform, I did. <laughs> so yeah, that's the whole thing that happened. People outside, they had their own screen, they were watching me get dressed shirtless and then I was inside dressing up uh, oh get the shirt okay okay do it again okay oh okay and then the director was holding the camera I was doing like this <laughs> I was like eh, wait I can't get it's a good thing I fucked up a lot of the the but the buttons but he didn't say shit because we're in a hurry and it actually worked for the shot because I I actually fucked up but it works for the shot because the scene is me rushing to get out because I'm late for whatever it is. I'm super late. So it worked. And while he was shooting me, the monitor even slammed in my head. And I was like, Boo. oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the whole thing happened. I started off being underestimated, looked down on. But then slowly I showed them what I'm really about and who I really am. And I showed him the goods. And yeah, I guess it's fair to say that I did my job right. I slinged my dick the right way. I flung it around in the right way because they're happy with the shots. And yeah, I'm also happy with my performance. And that's it. Happy ending for everybody. So more of the day. Don't let anybody tell you that you have a gut, okay? Sometimes you just got to lower your pants and show them what you're really about. Show them your abs. Because underneath that flab are abs, okay? You just got to look deeper. You just got to look and dig deep. It's there somewhere. You know, maybe you got to lift it up or put it down or pull it down. Like I like what they did to me. But it's there somewhere. Okay? Show your abs. Show them what you're really about. Show your true self. Alright? See ya.